Great. Well, welcome to the Tenant Bills live webinar. I thought I would just wait a few more minutes before I get started. I see people are still joining. Um, so we could kind of just break the ice with talking about where everybody is around Australia. Um, I'm in Sydney right now um, at home, working from home the next couple of weeks. I hope everybody's staying safe and just curious where you are. Um, we already got some messages this week where people from WA were going to join. I think I saw some Queensland, so curious where you're all located. And I thought I would just let you guys know that um, I'm going to try and stay focused on the tenant bills feature and why landlords use tenant bills, but feel free to ask any questions you can write in the chat or the Q&A section. Um, and I'll do my best to get to all of those questions. Uh, sometimes I had questions asked previously or duplicates. And if I can't answer your question, um, just feel free to email us at info at rentbetter.com.au. And we'll make sure to get you an answer for that question if we can. Um, I just have some notes with me today just to make sure because we actually had a few users already asking us about tenant bills. So if I'm looking down, I'm just gonna check out my notes. And one other thing I would say is, um, we always joke, I think product managers about sometimes things can go wrong in a live demo. So if anything happens, bear with me and I'll get it, it going, but I think we should be good. So I might as well just get started. Let's make sure I recorded. Thanks everybody for joining this live webinar on tenant bills. Um, I'm really going to stay focused on that topic. So if you have questions about any other features, um, feel free to, to email us info at rentbetter.com.au and we'll make sure to um, either take you on a demo of some of those other features or any answer any questions that you have. Um, we've started a kind of webinar series. I, we started one a few weeks, a couple months ago where I went through condition reports. And that's now on our YouTube channel. So also after um, this live webinar, if you'd like to watch the recording again, or you forgot something that I said, you can head on over to um, Rent Better on YouTube and rewatch this. And I also do know that some people emailed in that they weren't able to make it this live recording. Um, so I'd recommend we kind of put the timing of all of everything we talk about in this. So just feel free um, to reach out if you have questions, if you're watching this at a later time. So our webinar series is trying to educate our current users, as well as um, people that are interested in improving their self-management of their investment properties to help you guys understand all that we offer and how to use those features to better uh, self-manage. So I'm just going to take you guys through a tour of the tenant bills feature. And before I do that, I just kind of wanted to talk about why we focused on adding tenant bills to um, the platform. So if some of you are new to this, um, we have a self-management platform that you can check out all the details at rentbetter.com.au. And we help you do anything you need to with the management of your investment properties. Um, from advertising that property to deciding who that quality tenant is, all the way to collecting rent, billing your tenants, helping with maintenance requests, and then setting up a new tenancy. And we found that people that enjoy using us to collect rent also want to bill their tenants because sometimes they have had extra bills outside of the platform. And the tenants were actually requesting, is there any way that if I'm paying you rent through Rent Better, um, could I pay the bills through that? So we introduced that feature um, a few months back and we're having you know users reach out with a great experience. So I'm gonna walk you guys through that. And please let me know if you have any questions. We also love to use these sessions to improve our features and enhance them. And after the condition reports webinar, we got some feedback of areas where people thought they could add more photos or there was a room and items that they wish we could add. And we've made some of those updates. So just, just feel free to also add notes in the chat um, if you feel that you would like this to be enhanced as well, because we're here to make sure that you as self-managing landlords can um, do everything that you need to. 
So I'm just gonna share my screen to start walking you through the feature. All right, so if any of you are current users, you may have seen this page before. It's the My Properties page. And for anybody that's interested in um, using us in the future and are just checking us out now, this is kind of the home base on the platform. So you have your property and you have all the features um, that you can use to oversee that tenancy. And so we're gonna focus on tenant bills and its connection to expenses and reports. So if you click on the tenant bills feature, what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to create a bill um, to bill your tenant. And we found that people, that some of our users like to add the bill each month and other people like to add them um, ahead of schedule. So you can kind of add multiple bills um, for the next few months in your tenancy. And before I dive into creating the bill, I just kind of wanted to mention um, some reasons why landlords are using our platform um, for the tenant bills. So depending on the state in Australia, there's different setups and also preferences of landlords. We found that some of our users prefer to include all utilities and bills into their rent total. While other states have setups like WA, where they kind of own the accounts and then bill back what the tenants use to them. And so that's those states where, where we were getting a lot of initial requests to have this feature. And so what you can do is you can just click on add bill and I have a few demos set up here so you can see the different stages. So you can click add bill and you can figure out which category it is. So I'll just say cleaning. Um, cleaning demo. You can put a description, rug, the amount, let's say that's $50, and then the due date. So some people already have talked to their tenant about this and they need the payment right away. Other times it's ahead of schedule. Um, and then you can decide if it includes GST. You can add attachments such as invoices or receipts. And then you can choose if you'd like to send this bill request now or later. So sometimes if you're being proactive and you're adding a few bills that you would like to have billed later on, you can add them ahead of schedule and then choose when you send them. And then other times you'd like to bill right away and you can send a message to your tenant about the bill. Um, sometimes you have agreements in your lease agreement of what they're gonna be paying for and they'll expect that but other times maybe they might have forgot about something you spoke about. So it's always great to send a little message. And then you can click send and then the tenant will receive a notification on the platform and via email that the bill has been sent and it's ready for them to pay. So in a moment, I'll show you the tenant side. Um, so then in the tenant bills feature, you're able to see all of the bills that you've created for that tenancy. And here you notice that I had created this bill um, earlier just to kind of show you an example. So I'm able to see the details of the bill, see the receipt and the amount that was paid and the status. So this one, my tenant has already paid me and I received that payment. And it also went into the income section of my financial reports. So what's, what's great about this feature is that you can automatically add this to your report so that later in the end of financial year, when you're looking up the rent that you've, the income you made from rent, the expenses you had, you can also include the bills that you believe should be put there as income. You can notice here that you have bills that are unpaid. And let's say you sent the bill a couple of days ago and maybe it's not due for a little bit and you wanna just send a reminder, you can click resend request. And you can also make edits to the bill. So if you messed up the price and you sent it, once you edit it and click send again, um, then they'll be notified that there's an update to the bill. Oh, that's so sweet. One of our uh, customers is already actually using the feature. Thank you. Um, I'm glad you're enjoying it. And one other part of the feature I wanted to talk about was actually in expenses. So, we have the expenses feature and the bills feature, which people kind of like to use interchangeably um, depending on the circumstance. So if you have just bills that you need that your, ten your tenant to pay, 
I would recommend you go to the bills section and just let them know that this reoccurring bill is happening or something came up and they need to pay it. But sometimes landlords and depending on the state laws, there's situations where maybe you incur an expense and you're actually able to bill part of that back to your tenant. So in this case, let's say I had to pay a water, I had an expense for water or cleaning or whatever it is. So I paid $50 and I log this expense so that it would be in my report. But then what I'm able to do is I'm able to bill my tenant part of that expense if that's an agreement that we've made. So I could say last month's water bill where you pay 50%. So this is just a um, this is might not be a real situation that you'll encounter. So this is the amount that the landlord paid and I would like them to pay $25 and I'd like them to pay that in a couple weeks. And then I can put the invoice in the receipt of what I paid so they feel comfortable that they know that I did that and I can click send. And then they will also know that it was an expense that I incurred because they see the receipt of what I paid and they have their bill that they need to pay. So I'm just gonna switch screens um, for a moment and I'm gonna show you the tenant side. So just to bear with me. Um, so this is the tenant side. And I think that it's also always fun. Um, we get feedback usually after these webinars of people that were interested in understanding what the tenants see. Um, and so we are also gonna be doing a webinar and video soon for landlords to have more of an understanding of the experience on the tenant side. But you may notice that we really do focus on making it a very similar experience, although there aren't as many features for the tenant um, because the landlord is owning a lot of the activities in self-managing. Um, we felt that we wanna make sure that you guys have an understanding of what the tenants see on their side. So when they receive um, the bill requests, they'll see a notification in their notifications box on the top right-hand side. So they can either click there and they'll also have received an email letting them know that they've received a bill and that they should pay that bill. So then they can click on the bill payments um, section of the property card and here, um, on that other, on the landlord side, I had created uh, four bills for this tenant. And so now they have the four bills in their bill payment section. And I had gone through and this tenant had already paid the landlord. So this is the tenant side of the bill that I showed you that was already paid. And then there's a receipt um, that is generated for that bill. And then these are the other bills that they have due on July 15th. And you can see that um, it's unpaid, that there's the attachment of the receipt that I've attached, and then they're able to easily proceed to payment. So when they click proceed to payment, they're taken to the payment page where it's um, pre-populated with the details of the payment method that they use for paying rent. And if they'd like to change what they're using um, to pay the bill, they can go to that payment method section and update that. And then they can just acknowledge um, to pay the bill and click pay. And then once that bill is paid, the status will change on their end and on the landlord side. Um, they'll be taken back to the tenant bill section where they'll see that the status is paid. And both the landlord and the tenant will receive a confirmation email letting everybody know that it's been paid. So I thought that I would just take a moment to answer a few more questions because that is pretty much the overview of the feature. It's a little bit quicker of a webinar, but it's a very simple, easy to use feature that we're getting a lot of positive feedback on. And I would love some of your guys' feedback to keep enhancing it. Yes, so the, as I mentioned before, I'm sorry if I breezed through this. So when you do add the expense and build a tenant, um, the expense um, will be added automatically to the report as in the expense section. And then the paid bill will be in the income of the report section. So I can just show a quick view of the report for you guys. So you'll have these reports that are automatically updated. So when you start collecting the rent and when the payment goes through, they'll be added to the income in the expenses section of your report. 
I wanted to also show you guys now that we're kind of coming to an end. So let me know if you have any more questions about tenant bills. I just wanted to show you um, the rent better site. So anybody who's new to rent better, you've probably came to this session either from seeing an ad, talking to a friend, or you're a current user that wants to learn how to use the features a little bit better. So if you go to rentbetter.com.au and you go to our products and features section, if you click on the features, you can go through all of our other features. And then on the webinar calendar, calendar page, you can see our up, uh, upcoming webinars that are for each feature. And then on the pricing page, you're able to view all of our plans. And so I just wanted to let you guys know about this page. If you're new to Rent Better, feel free to reach out to us if you have questions. And the Rent Better way is where you can get all of the features that we're talking about in these webinars. So this allows you to find a tenant and manage um, for a subscription fee. And you're able to you know, use the tenant bills, collect rent, sign leads, lease agreements and advertise. So I just wanted to show some of you that's new to rent better how to get there. And then I have in my notes um, on July 14th at 5 p.m., Jeremy will be hosting our next webinar. So um, he'll be talking about selecting a quality tenant. So I'd recommend that all of you guys join that. Um, Jeremy tends to own a lot of the webinars that are beyond just the product and features. He gives advice. Um, he talks about how he's approached selecting tenants in the past and how Rent Better can help you do that. So thank you everybody for joining. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next webinar. Thank you.